welcome to the No Excuses Lady Show episode number 34. I am Eva Eckert and I am your host. I am here on these different multi multimedia, multi social media here. So please join me and thank you for joining me and giving your time. Today's episode number 34. No Excuses Ladies Weekly Show is for, for all of you ladies out there who has been struggling with making too many excuses and find yourself being unhappy and unsuccessful in all areas of your life, this weekly show can give you examples on how to apply the no excuses mindset and how the no excuses mindset helped me and my family become successful and how it can help you in all areas of your life. No Excuses Tribe is welcome absolutely all of you out there who want to become a badass and maybe you are a badass and you just need a nice circle of people that will support you and help you. I am here to help you, support you, guide you and lead you to your full potential by having me as your accountability coach. You will be able to finally discover the power of self-belief, self-motivation and self-discipline so you can stop making the excuses and create life you truly desire by being the best person of you. So welcome to the show. Yes, yeah, so uh, guys, I'm going also on our PTZ kind of why YouTube channel, and this is the YouTube channel that you can find absolutely hundreds and hundreds of different follow along workouts. So welcome. Now, last week topic, I'll always recap quickly. I had a special guest, Eliana Veras, who is nine months pregnant and she's expecting any time anytime the baby but we were talking about how to become a badass being pregnant so this was actually very unique very a uh, very special episode so i hope that you had a chance to go back and watch it if not please watch the episode number 33. so again thank you for showing up i see you guys popping in here this is awesome of course my gift to you schedule your 15 to 20 minutes free coaching call with me when you can really discover deep dive we're gonna kill the onion and find out what is really that is happening in your life and what direction to go so today's topic is very unique it's very i would say <clears throat> maybe not a lot of people talk about it but it has to be because sooner or later somebody's gonna hit that moment it's the menopause and the excuses so yes it's for women but not only because if you talk to someone in this YouTube video, or maybe you're going to take some notes, maybe you're going to just send them simply to this thing, to this, uh, to this post or to this message. So uh, let's get, let's, let's get going. And of course, please post your questions. If you have any, I love participation because that's what it's all about. Participating in our uh, quick uh, show here today. And we meeting weekly, there are different discussions. I put a lot of different videos before and you can find out hundreds of different videos on habits and recipes and all the different things. So please do it. So uh, guys, it's a huge topic. It's a huge topic and, and me as a coach and as not only a life coach, but also a coach uh, with our big physics studios in New York for many, many years. I've trained women, I've trained men, but it was the same topic. Somewhere around that age, 40 to 60, women hit that moment and it's very difficult for them. And I know the struggle. I know the struggle. Uh, I've, uh, I've been going through a stage myself, but it's not fully the stage, but I know what it is. And before I was able to already guide women because we create a whole program, how to help them. So why I decided for this topic, because there is a lot of no excuses. There is a lot of excuses with this topic instead of no excuses. So when women hit that moment, they think, oh, OK, I cannot lose weight. I go, I'm going through the menopause. I'm just constantly gaining weight. I am so tired, so anxious. I am so frustrated, frustrated. I'm, I'm irritable. I am I am just not myself. And it's a struggle. So the whole idea is to help, right? To help one another, help women. And from this episode, I want you to see the light, that there is something that you can change that doesn't need to be like this, right? So I don't want you to give up just because you hit that moment. So obstacles create opportunities for us to, uh, to become better, 
obstacles are for us to overcome them, guys. If you're gonna understand this idea, that's what happens in life. It's not just with this topic, with anything. I always tell you that this is always something is placed for us so we can become better. So let's become better to, together today. Let's take some notes and let's do this. Of course, always ask your healthcare provider and reach out to them and find out what can be done. I am not a doctor. I cannot tell you what medications to take. And let me tell you, I'm not going to tell you what medication to take, all right? But you will hear the truth today because me as a coach, I've changed my life and I've changed over 20,000 people. We've changed over 20,000 people in New York and now we're changing people's life in California and not only in California, all over the world. So with this said, taking charge of your life and i'm gonna tell you how to take the steps and but the point is that you need to work harder than ever before we are aging okay there is a, an aging process that happens through our bodies and you need to understand when you hit that moment is for you not to go lighter go a little stronger push yourself and go above, above and beyond that you cannot just give up that it has to be uh, understood by you that this is the next level that you need to work a little harder that's how it is like think about process of aging those people who age gracefully those are the one that just take this obstacle and say hmm i need to get better I need to change something that I've been doing and I just need to step up my game. And that's what it's all about. So how to change the negative aspects of this particular topic, menopause? This is based on me and how I directed my clients, okay? And uh, through, through, through people that we've coached, I can tell you how it was done and how it helped many, many people. And I hope this will direct you and give you some hope and, and you can change something and apply today. If not, then you need to really look at what you're doing and send me another message. So with this said, ladies, create your AM and PM routine, meaning you cannot just get up and, and, and rush your day and leave the house without preparation, without being properly hydrated, without eating their breakfast. A lot of women make the same mistake over and over, just leaving the house and thinking, I'm going to get a coffee with some sugar and cream on the way, stopping by Dunkin' Donuts, getting a, a coffee, not even getting anything to eat because they already think, okay, I'm already gained some weight, so I'm not going to be eating. I'm going to just drink my coffee and hopefully the weight go down. No, you actually doing yourself this service, you, you actually slowing down your metabolism. So the thing is you're getting up in the morning, and you drinking that protein shake or eating the egg whites, you need some quality of protein because protein will build the muscle. Protein will make you feel full. Protein will help you to lose the weight. That's your AM, AM routine. Now with the PM routine, it can be done identical. And me as an accountability coach, if you work with me, you're going to have this scheduled. We're going to dive deep and give you exactly what needs to be done. So, AM and PM routine. Please stop, stop the moment. Stop yourself from just being hungry all the time. This is wrong. This is not gonna lead you anywhere. It's gonna put you in a bigger hole. And women do it constantly. And even with during the menopause, then do it. They doing it even more. Drink number two. Drink at least a gallon of water. You need to drink a lot of water. Water is hydration. Water is metabolism. Uh, you need to stay hydrated. So many people are constant, constantly dehydrated. And look, when I do my shows, you always see me sipping from this bottle. Always. So my apologies, but I need to stay hydrated. And this is an awesome bottle. It can be found on my Herbalife site. I'm going to attach the, the link to this episode. And you can just click and get the mega water bottle. Right. Now, exercise daily that's number three you need to put it on your schedule what's the magic time for you when is the best time that you can exercise but simple thing is that women don't do it a lot of people just don't do it they wing the day they don't know where they're gonna exercise they don't know if they're gonna even exercise because they 
They get up rushing in the morning. Nothing is scheduled. Everything is random. The whole life is random. So when they finish work, it's random what they eat. They come home, it's random, random evening. Instead of having a plan. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get up. Maybe I'm going to work out before my 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 um, uh, my work. Instead of me coming home, being tired, not having energy to, to work out because you already didn't eat enough. You probably starve. So then you eat. Then you sluggish because you ate too much carbs. Then you start watching the Netflix or TV instead of maybe spending quality time with your friends or your family, right, your kids. And then what happens is you go to sleep so late. So you, of course, you cannot get up in the morning. So look what a vicious cycle. But if we create the AM and PM routine, you're going to have exactly two things that's going to change just by doing this. Everything is going to change because you're going to go to sleep earlier. So you're going to up earlier. So this way, maybe you can work out in the morning. If morning workouts are not good for you, it's okay. Maybe you can do the evening one, but make sure that you do this. Now, strength training is a must thing. What I've seen over the years, women do endless cardio. They think that by doing two hours of cardio, they're going to speed up their metabolism. No, you're doing yourself absolutely disservice. You cannot do too much cardio because then you're going to start really burning out your muscle. You don't want your muscle as a fuel. You want to save this muscle. You, so strength training three to four times a week, it can be. Now, with our big physique program, you get the high-intensity sessions with boxing, with boot camp, with cardio, with strength training. It's absolutely amazing and will get you the best results. So, again, send me a message. You can uh, click directly to the link on YouTube channel and submit your information and schedule yourself for the workouts period it's awesome it's phenomenal you can take them anywhere you can take them to the gym you can do this at home it's follow along or put together clips of the workout it's absolutely amazing but again endless cardio will only make you hungry more frustrated more because you're not seeing the result one switch by doing your strength training with a coach, somebody that guide you through because people don't touch the weights because they don't know. And it's all about connection to mind and your body. If you're just going to swing the weights up and down and you have no program, no plan, you're not going to get the results that you're looking for. So this is necessary. Number four, your food. Your food must be based on protein. Protein is what's going to give you this amazing muscle building box. Again, I said this in the morning, throughout the day, you need to eat protein and vegetables. Just small portion of fruits because too much sugar, it's not going to help you. 1.5 gram per pound per body weight of the protein is recommended. So don't be afraid. You can start with one gram. That's good. 1.5 will be even more. Number five, create, create the um, opportunity to move and be active. So some people, what I've realized it's, but I already walk and they will tell me, oh, I already walk, so I don't need to work out. No, that has nothing to do with workout. Workout is workout. Walking is walking. We all should be walking and we know elephants walk and how do they look like, right? <laughs> so we gotta make sure that we are doing exactly extra, uh, like being, being intentional about it. Like if you can, Choose the stairs instead of elevator. Do it. Like there is your life gives you these opportunities to move. But I see this all the time. People just choose to be lazy. So choose to be strong. Choose to be active. Choose to be uh, excited, energetic. Choose to be. It's, it's you are the plant who generates the energy. Okay. Number six, take your natural supplements. If I tell you that I've been taking a lot of different supplements, natural of course, I take not only the natural supplements, but I also take the tablets that has been prescribed by a holistic doctor. And that helps you. But you have to do this. You have to consult the physician. Amino acids is a must thing to take. Glutamine. You have to take, if you work out and you want to have that strong body and you can change, you can age and you can look beautiful, you can look strong, but you need to take care of yourself. You don't know how to do it. Send me a message. We can go over this. This will be, uh, you know, in details because it's good to know what you need, right? What, what, 
what it's really recommended for you. And be always prepared. When I leave the house, I never leave the house on empty. There's always protein shakes. There's always bars. There's always extra water. And I teach this to my kids. And you have to do the same because I see this and I've seen this for many years over and over again. If I would have asked 10 women, probably nine would be not prepared. Nine, that's huge amount. You always rely on outside circumstances. Maybe I will drive by to a coffee shop or maybe I will stop and get some donuts. That's not weight loss. That's why you cannot lose the weight, period. And you can't even lose that weight during menopause. That's why it's better for you. You need to have protein bars. You need to have protein shakes. You need to be prepared. And people say, oh, but it takes time. I have to get prepared. By guys, by preparing, you are succeeding. That's what successful people do. You want to be successful. You want to change. You need to do this. Everything takes time. It takes time for you to prepare, but also takes time for you to drive drive and take your take the, the different route to go to a Dunkin' Donuts for your sugary coffee that has 800 calories. That's why you're not eating breakfast. That's why you're not hungry because you're loading yourself on these carbs and sugar. Okay. So switching those things will give you fantastic energy and it's going to change the way how you look and make sure, please, I see you guys logging in. Please, please watch this video from the beginning because you missed on very important points. And, and remember, if, if you miss some points, it's not a full picture. It's not a full picture. That's like, started watching the movie from the end, uh, you don't know the story, right? And you, you, you have to make sure that you know the beginning, the middle, and the end. It has to go through a whole picture. All these little puzzles have very importance. They are very important, so you need to do this, okay? Stop finishing food after your kids. I've seen this. I coach people. You know, what I do, I do coaching one-on-one when clients fly from all different countries even to meet with me and we spend literally from like 7 or 8 a.m all the way to 5 p.m we are going through a whole routine whole routine together so they know what to do and women sometimes when see me preparing the dinner they will be like wow I usually, when I cut, when I prepare the dinner, I will eat half of the dinner when I'm preparing. I said, no wonder. I said, look, no, you, you, you're staying hydrated. I drink Herbalife, uh, Herbalife tea because it stops the hunger and it's fantastic. So if you need uh, tips on uh, how to stay fit and healthy, let me know. I will give you the link and you can get that. It's absolutely phenomenal. It helped me go on for all these years and get me in shape. And that's what I do. And I prepare the dinner. I don't snack. I don't finish the food kids food is different than ours sometimes do not snack misunderstanding subjects with snacking people think snacking is older than all no snacking is not snacking it's snack snacking snack snack you're gonna have two snacks maybe three snacks throughout the day you eat it and you move on it's not all day long guys it's not it's not gonna work so and and a very important part in all of it is hire accountability coach Hire someone to be accountable to somebody that push you to the next level. You might have a friend that it's uh, very organized. Uh, they have great results in fitness, nutrition. They know to do. Approach them. Ask them. If not, hire someone like me that will give you the outcome that you're looking for. Because you have to be reprogrammed. We were reprogrammed years ago when we hire coaches, when we uh, build seven-figure businesses. It's all about changing the mindset, learning new things, learning new tools, and find those who have done it and have have the tools themselves and you learn this so everybody can do this everybody can look good everybody can lose the weight if they follow if they s finally release themselves from their ego and learn that that somebody else can teach them something doesn't matter what your position is because uh, we have ceos you know of companies people that are very successful in their life but their personal life is a mess mess they don't know how to they just just a mess so don't think that you need to get it figured out all of it together. It's not. 
And, and, and that's the whole idea, just following the steps of someone that is very successful. So positive mindset will lead you to positive outcome, right? And that's what uh, an accountability successful coach will give you. But you need to be committed to follow. You need to be committed to the program. But will you be committed? Will you will you say, you know what, I need this because I've been struggling? And this is a general topic in general, not necessarily only this. In other areas of love, yeah, like if you are tired of the outcomes that happening, you need to change something. Only by changing, you will change the outcome. If you come continuously doing the same things over and over, it will never happen. And that's how we do it. We peel the onion. We go deep. We find out what are the missing steps and how to win this battle, right? The battle of, of good, a happy and healthy life. And you can all do this. So I would love to see your questions. Maybe you guys have a questions. Maybe you have someone that you want to ask about, you know, maybe you know someone that's going through something like this, but it's very important to speak up and not be afraid. Uh, you know, social media nowadays is uh, people think, oh, th th you, got, you guys watch, you guys join these platforms. And a lot of times people don't ask questions, they pop in, but then they still don't get anything out of it. And the whole idea is to speak up and just ask a question or what you need to do because most people don't know what to do. So how can you be clear on your path? How can you be clear on your goals if you don't ask questions? Those who ask, they find the way. So remember, life is amazing. So be, be the one who you want to be, be the one who you desire to be, and be the one who, do, who you deserve to be, but only by exceptional and absolutely amazing mindset and having the steps to achieve that okay so don't waste your life don't waste your time find someone that will really speak to you find someone that will be there for you find a coach that will guide you and coach you i will talk to you guys later have a no excuses day and again looking forward to see those comments and questions no excuses bye